Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. It's time for us to lighten up the mood a bit in here. And as I said earlier at the start of the show, DJ Neo has broken the world record for the longest DJ set in the world. We know that we spoke to DJ Obi not too long ago about the fact that he actually broke this record two years ago. We also know that other people like Black Coffee have held this record at a point in time. But as it stands, the record is right here in Nigeria. And that is all thanks to one man, DJ Neo. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. And congratulations, firstly. Thank you. I think we should start off with the fact that you did more hours than you needed to do to break the record. So tell us how many hours you needed to break the record and why you decided to go to 336. Oh, well, my plan was to do 12 days. That's how many hours? Uh... That, that would be like 288 hours. So while I was on the DJing team, the spirit just came on me like, I mean, we have to take this for 14 days which is 336 hours, that's how the thing goes, just for me to leave a, a little, like, a space, gaps in between, in case of anyone coming to, <laughs> to say, I want to break this guy's record. So you want to hold it a lot longer and make ah. it a lot difficult for anyone else to try well, and break Well, when, when I get very far, you see that there's nobody that can break it. As so a matter what, of fact, what, what I'm waiting I, for yeah. is just for me to get very far and everything. I saw someone tweet something about that. A lot of people were saying that you guys need to show DJ Neo more support, that this guy is doing something huge right now and people are keeping silent. And the response that you got to you breaking the world record, it wasn't as big as the response that we saw when DJ Obi was doing his world record. Did that affect you in any way? Did it lower your self-esteem on days where no one was around or? No, one thing I believe is that I believe in myself. And the way I train my, myself mentally is that even if there's no one there, I have to do what I have to do. You know, sometimes the world don't believe you until you show yourself, until you prove yourself. Yeah, and I, I, in the beginning, the support was not that strong. Thank God for Sister Lola, my sister, and uh, for pushing for me. And after like eight days, when I, like, when I marched with the record, there was no support. I was like, ah, what's going on? What's going on? But after that eight days, I started seeing people coming in. Like, I was like, wow. Mm. A lot of people are like, saying that they are busy, something, something. And I know there was really things during that time. So I don't really name much people. So, but I, at least I can gather myself together and... So you needed okay, to yeah. have done eight days to break the current record or the yeah. past record. Yeah, then but you ended that, up spreading it up onto 14. No, after, after, no, no, no. After you do your eight days, the guy, the guy that owns the record is like 200 hours. So you have to do your own 200 hours to match the record. Then you have to create your own record. So I broke the record and I create my own record. With 100 extra hours. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. How would you say you prepared for this? What were the challenges you foresaw that would happen? You know... When I was preparing for this stuff, I have to quit jobs for like two months based on that. I'm trying to like gather people together to work in hand to hand. But people that I'm trying to get together, they are like, don't worry, don't worry. When I see that you talk with no deeds, I move on because I don't like dulling. I don't like you, someone, because this is my dream for like, I've had this plan for like three years ago before now. So, when I see that nobody is supposed, everybody is busy doing their own thing, I have to call my guy doing branding for me, all my stuff. Like, guy, this is what is on the table. Do you want to join? I have to like go back to my old street, old hood, to gather people together. Like, I have some because I believe one thing is that though they don't understand much about the entertainment, but I do, and I have some one kind of vibe that if I say I can do this thing, I will teach them how to do this thing. Nothing, is, nothing can stop me. That's why I just gather these guys. I tell them what to do and what to do. I tell them the rules about the Guinness thing, and they were like, ginger. You know, it's not easy for you to bring different kind of people together. That was what makes the, the temptation, like the vexedness of everything much. Like I was not even that, I, I lose it from day one, but I thank God that it wasn't my power. I won't lie to you. I thought I would not be able to even do four days because four days I lost it. When you say you lost it, did you faint? No, not, not, not about faint. Like, I wanted to quit on the day one because we already planned this in like 
we set up two weeks before the stuff so everybody can rest and understand their, what they want to do. But based on the venue that we want to use, they delayed us a little bit and everything was not like we are rushing. So everybody don't know, everybody forget what, what to do. I was like, because it was, I was supposed to kick off by around 7 p.m. So based on the setup and everything, we have to like start around nine, nine, yes, nine. So making sure that everything is okay. So when we kick off, I started this stuff. By 10, 10, 15, something like that, the lights went off and the lights must not go off. The lights went off, I was like, what's happening? We started, where is the fourth Sorry, coming the from? lights can't go off because that's against the regulations of the body that was holding the world records or? No, the rules is that your, the, your sun must not be off for 10 seconds. So when your sun is off for 10 seconds, you, you are disqualified. Again. Wow. You are disqualified. If you want to start again, that means you're, you're, if you have the strength to do that, do that. They're not stopping you. But the, the thing is that you must not, your sound must not go off for 10 seconds. You have to put that in your head, even when you're like being tired or you go, you get what I mean? So when the stuff went off, I was like, ah, I was vexing because I've been shouting because I didn't do what I wanted them to do. So again, I realized that they, they were like, they don't have much experience of this thing. I mean, I do. So we are like, what is it? Because we have to use two EPAs. You know when you're using two UPS, you know what that means? Even though you want to go on your, your gen, it won't take you, you can't use 15 minutes to one gen now. So when the thing went off, we realized that it was the inverter that was giving us issue, and one of the UPS was not really strong. So I have to start the kick off around 11.45 based on what happened. I need to like restart again. Wow, wow. I need to like restart again like from, so that was when I like, I wanted to do 12 days. I, I was not saying like, bro, hmm, we got to do 14 days ago. After I did like three days, no, after like four days, I lose this. I wanted to, because a lot of things happened. A lot of temptation, a lot of things that's going to happen happened. Even during the event, the last thing went off. And if the last you go off, it has to be on me whereby they are giving me more jobs. Like, I, keep, I need to keep extending the days. Because when you start looking at your mistakes, and you start counting, and they count and count and count and see that they remove like two something hours. The hours you have is not up to 200 hours now. They disqualify you. Hmm. But wow. I believe one thing is that when grace follows, even your mistakes become your profession. Yeah, very <laughs> true. And I'm particularly proud of your growth because we know that you started off as an assistant DJ. You were an assistant DJ for Copy and you were an assistant DJ for oh, OB yeah. as well. Yeah. You decided to go solo. You took that risk. So I want you to tell us why you decided to go solo and what that has been like. But beyond just going solo, you decided that that's not enough. I'm going to hold a world record because I am going to be significant in this industry. What are the greatest challenges that you are facing and what has the entire process been like? Um, let me start from the, this place. Like, you know, every, everyone has a vision of where, where they want to be and where they want to go. Like, there was tough time during when I started this game. Thank God for DJ OB, he's a big bro. Like, it really has helped me a lot. If not for your own behavior. You know, no matter how someone helps you, they are still stepping stone to your own dream. You get what I mean? Nobody, even if I have anybody working for me, one day it will, it will, it will become his own boss. So everybody is hustling, working harder to become the dream they have dreamed of. So you get what I mean? So I thank God, you know, working under these people is not easy, but sometimes I wanted to be my own boss. One thing about me is I don't decide things on my own. I talk to God. I wanted to be my own boss. The spirit said, no, work, so, work with someone. I was like, ah, 
I'm, I'm good enough. So the difference between you being good and getting the connect. So my story is just like Joseph, whereby I've not really understand the game, but I'm good. He said, work with someone, I don't know who to work with. But I met, when I met Obi, I was like, ah, how is God working? I never know, like, I'm 100% I'm loyal. I have too much of great ideas. And when I'm working with you, I'm like, ah, you have to be, you have to, you have to matter in wherever that you are. So I share my ideas, you know. When I see that you don't buy the ideas, I just keep it to myself. But I know that time is coming when I will start using the ideas of myself. And now you've started using the ideas, you've ended up going to break a world record <laughs> that your former boss was holding. <laughs> How has that affected the relationship between yeah, you it's and the <laughs> In fact, let's start from the very first moment you went to tell your former boss that you want to beat That's, his okay, world record. Okay, come on, I want to hold your record. <laughs> No, what happened is that I can never be a savage. I can never be a snitch. You get it. Obi is my big brother, and I respect him a lot. And if he, if he didn't tell me to go ahead, I won't. You know, I'm part of, part of Obi's Guinness World Record. I was there for the 10 days thing. You know, I believe that if you're good to people, good things will surely happen to you as well. And I told him about, bro, I want to go for these things. So he said, no shaking, I can, I can go for it. And look at it, he was the first person that came to Ginger Me. Mm, you know, exactly. I was, I was, when I was doing this thing, I was angry, I won't lie to you. I suppose not to do three days. When Obi falling, I was like, wow. You know, when you start seeing different kind of face, you have that ginger. You have that spirit that keeps you going. You get what I mean? And um, when that spirit pushes you to where that you'll be able to quit again, you're just enduring everything. So Obi really supported me. I appreciate it. But when Kopina came in, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is very, it's a classic case of what um, you know, Dido always says. We rise you know, by lifting you know, when, I, when, I, when I told Kopi about this stuff, he said, I can do it. Because everybody that I told about it, they said, you can do it. I was like, ah, I can do it. So every day is no sleep. You, you get, not that you won't sleep. Oh, you You're working the you, whole time. Yeah, you have time <laughs> to rest. You have time to rest. I'm still, I'm still planning something that maybe I want to break my own record again. Hmm. Wow. That's At the end of the day, the records we plan to break are not the ones set by other people. They are the ones that we set for ourselves. <laughs> and now DJ Neo has not only broken a world record, he plans to break his own record again. I imagine. We have a clip of him at the DJ stand when he was competing for the, world, for the world's longest DJ play. And we have a clip of it, so take a look at it. When we come back, we'll be wrapping up the conversation with DJ Neo. Please stay tuned. I am the one. So that oh was God. a very fantastic short clip, you know, that was showing your 12 days when you matched up to the record yeah. and all the people that came to visit you. And I, I'm really excited. So congratulations once again. Congratulations. I really do hope that Guinness verifies this soon ah. so that your they name will, can be on the world verify. record. The guts. <laughs> <laughs> So they just very advice. quickly, before we round up, where next? I know that you want to break your own record, but aside from breaking your own record, what can we now expect from DJ Neo? World-renowned um, DJ Neo. Um, <laughs> I, as I told you before, I have a lot of ideas. Whereby I want to be part of those artists, DJs that's promoting Nigeria. And I have a lot, a lot of dreams. Whereby... Even the president of the, the president of Nigeria will see me and say, "Good mm. one, bro." 
That's amazing. You are so, definitely yeah, out. Uh, don't, don't, don't be surprised that I'll be the first day to bring the Grammy home. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you. So if you say it, I am right behind you. DJ Neil will be the first DJ in Nigeria to bring a Grammy home. So I do believe in you. How can people follow you on social media if they want to find out more? Yeah, they can follow me on Super DJ Neo. At Super DJ Neo. Yeah, S-U-P-E-R-D-J-N-E-O, Neo. Okay, thank you so much for this conversation. Honestly, so proud of you. Thank you for putting Nigeria on the map. It means a lot. And also <laughs> for going for 14 days. I mean, you get a 20-minute break every four hours, right? Yeah. A 20-minute break every four hours. That's not being so. So honestly, thank you. Uh, you know, you know uh, there was a lot of hallucinating thing whereby I was telling someone that I will kill you. Oh, you I did? Ah, uh -uh. it's not easy. Oh. I was telling you, I told the manager of the club that I will kill you. I almost... Uh, they told me that like, I almost broke my laptop. Wow. Based on, like, you know, I don't know what, what was happening. Even when I got to a stage whereby they told me to come and DJ, and I was looking at the laptop like I could not sing one song. I look at my deck. I was telling them who changed my deck. This was not the deck I was using before. Man, this thing was not easy. Wow. But were you prepared for these hallucinations? Did you know they were going to happen to you? I, I was prepared. Like, I was so prepared. But, hmm. You know, no matter how you prepare, you still see the temptations. They will still come. All these things is part of what makes the Guinness know that, yeah, you really did. You really did. If mm -hmm. all these things do not happen, they believe that you're sleeping somewhere. You cannot just go in and come outside perfectly and think, and, think, and they will think like, oh, nothing. They know. But surely, even when you finished the 14 days, you couldn't have, like, just gone straight home. Did you have to be hospitalized for checks or mm -hmm. anything? You know, it got to a point whereby my... My system changed, you know, whereby I was not even feeling sleepy again. When I wanted to start this stuff, sleep just came from nowhere. Because I've not been sleeping because I was running up and down, because it's only me and my team that, that, that try to share the dream with. So when I started this stuff, I, I stressed myself on the first day by shouting, shouting, shouting. Because if you're not there to shout, you won't be able to do the right thing. So when I kick off, the sleep start coming from nowhere. I was like, what is happening? Do you know that it was when you want to fast, that's when hungry will start. Very true. So, so that's the part of the temptation. That's you see, if social will not come easy, you have to fight for it. So the hallucinating is part of the fighting. Wow. So that, that's what I believe. By the end of the day, we're glad that your effort was not a waste. It was <laughs> worth it. And we look forward to seeing all the many amazing things. Big team, that big team. We announce, we announce, big announcement is happening soon. Well, we're looking to forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> Small clue. No, don't worry. No clue. No clue. Not even one clue. No, no, don't let me give that clue. <laughs> who, who, well, who, thank who, you who, so who you much. <laughs> Sorry? Who you said that? Did you copy? Ah, don't worry. Go back to the Fowler. No. Mayor <laughs> <Mayoku. laughs> who, who is the person? <laughs> All right, thank yeah. you so much for joining us, DJ Neo. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.